All right, so this is a video tutorial on how to create a platforming game uh, inside of Adobe Animate, uh, Adobe Animate, previously uh, Adobe Flash, previously Macromedia Flash. Um, so this is going to be Action Script 3 and all that. Um, so first thing you want to do is just make a new scene. So just do File New, choose um, Action Script, or yeah, Action Script 3. All right, you could also do for Android if you want, but I'm just going to do Action Script 3. Uh... Let me do my background color as like a mid gray. I don't really like the white. Uh, and I'm going to make this 1280 by 720. So that's more of like a, an HD resolution. Low HD, but still. Uh, then I'll hit OK. And boom. OK, so then we're going to end up with something that looks like this. No, it doesn't fit my screen. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go fit in window. And that will fit uh, that into the window. All right. So. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to kind of create the shell of the game first, and then we'll go through and actually, like, adjust the graphics and such. Okay, so to do that, this is what we are going to do. Um, I'm going to need basically two elements to start with. I'm going to need a character, and I'm going to need um, a background. So uh, to do the character, I'm just going to grab the oval tool here, and I'll leave a uh, black stroke, and I'll do, like, this red fill. And I'm just gonna. Apparently, that didn't really work. Oh, my stroke's 100. That's a little big. Oops, not 21. I wanted two. two. Okay. I don't know why it wasn't. Okay. And I'm just gonna make a little. Actually, we'll make it more like this, so it's more like a person. So this is gonna be our placeholder character. Okay. So I just hit V to go back to the select tool. Just select the thing. Um, I'm gonna try and put them roughly in center-ish. Say like that. Okay, so now it's going to take it, um, and we're going to modify, convert to symbol, and we're going to call this one player underscore MC, and make it a movie clip, and registration, uh, put it on the bottom, like that, okay? Uh, that'll put the registration point there. Um, that will be important later on. Okay, so that'll be our player. Uh, that's all fine and dandy, and I'm actually even on the layer, I'm going to call it the player, okay? And make a new layer, put it underneath that one, double click, and we're going to call this one background. All right, and we're going to make a background. So I'm just going to uh, back this thing up, command or control minus, and I'm going to go to the line tool, and we're just going to make it out of lines to start with. And I'm going to make this, let's try 25 to start with. It might not be big enough, we'll find out in a second. Uh, and I'm just going to drag this across. If you hold shift, it'll keep it in 45 degree increments. So I'm just going to kind of draw something like this, and then I'm going to hold shift again, go up, and shift again, go across, shift again, go down, shift again, go across, like that, okay? And that'll give us something to uh, kind of go around. Okay, so I'm um, going to double click on this line, I'm going to hold shift, double click, okay, just get the whole thing selected, and we're going to go ahead and convert this to a symbol. So it's modify, convert to symbol, or you can just hit F8. Um, uh, again, so we're going to call this one, um, let's call it background for now, underscore MC. And I want the registration to be the top left this time, okay? And we'll hit OK. Yay, so now we got uh, our two elements, and we can start kind of um, more or less working uh, from there, okay? So, that being said, uh, if I preview it, it's not going to look like much of anything right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is, let's go ahead and save this, Control shift s and I'm just going to save this as um, platformer toot ex uh, example. Okay, and you can save it as whatever. That will be, we're at this point, everything's good. Um, okay. Uh, so first thing I need to do is I need to make it that when I use my arrow keys that my player moves. Currently, nothing's going to happen. So I like to try and use code snippets as much as possible. It makes it a little less scary. Um, so actually, before we even add the code snippets, let's add another layer. Put that at the top. Double click and name it Actions with a capital A. Okay? Just like that. Uh, I want you to select the player character, and we need to give it a name and just call it Player. All right? So we're going to call it player, straight up, nothing else in it. All right. This is the instance name, so that's how the code is going to know what the object is. Because the problem is, is that this object itself might have been called player MC, right? You can see it's in the library. I can bring multiple ones of these. It doesn't know which one to grab. 
But if you look, when I have this one selected, that has a unique name. So this gives it a unique name that allows the code um, to grab this guy specifically. So that's why it has to have um, this instance name in there and not just, um, and not just uh, you know, just going off of the basic name. Okay. Um, and while we're doing that, let's go ahead and give this also a name because we're going to need this in a second too. And we'll just call this one background. All right. So this will be player, and this will be background. Makes sense, right? Okay. So go ahead and grab the player, and um, we're going to use code snippets. So uh, we'll go window, actions, right? And then if you look at right here, there's a button for code snippets. Click on code snippets, and then you'll see that there's action script, HTML5, and WebGL. We want action script. <clears throat> and what we want to do, uh, you probably don't know which ones these are, but I actually want something that's underneath animation. And you can see there's one that says move with arrow keys. So double click on that. And the way this is going to work, let me get rid of, this is a comment section. It just tells you how it's, how it's working, but I'm not all that concerned with that. Um, what it does is add adds a couple of event listeners, okay? So on the object itself, remember this is the name of the object. It goes add event listener. And it's just uh, it just means I want you to listen for something. And in this case, um, the event that it's going to listen for is enter frame, uh, event app dot enter frame, and that just means on every frame this is going to run, and then it's just it's going to run this um, bit of code, okay? That's going to run this function called fl move in direction of key, and in that case, uh, in this case, it's um, this function right here. So more or less, what it does is that on the player, it's going to run every frame this function that's called this. All right, that's basically what it's going to do. Um, let's change the name of it though. So I'm gonna take this and we're just gonna call it, um, uh, let's call it game loop, okay? Cause this is gonna be our loop function. And then I have to change the name here too, game loop. Um, just so that it makes a little bit more sense so I understand what it is. So um, that, that will kind of help, all right? All right, so, um, so on the player, it's going to go ahead and it's going to add that event listener and it's going to go on every frame. It's going to read that. All right. Um, now, what I want to do is this. Uh, it's going to run this loop every frame. Now, it's going to say if up is pressed, blah, blah, blah. If down is pressed, blah, blah, blah. Now, up pressed, down pressed, left pressed, right pressed. These are variables that we declared up here. Okay. So by default, up press, down press, left press, and right press are down or off. Okay, variables are just made up things. Um, they're just a, it's like a variable in a math equation. It could be x, could be y. Uh, we named them these. Um, it just holds information. That's all it is. And so right now they're off. The way that we do this is that if you look, it says stage dot add event listener keyboard dot key down blah blah blah. So we have these two other event listeners. So stage means it's anywhere on the stage. Uh, it has this event listener that's going to listen for if a key is down, meaning that you're you're pressing a key. Then it's going to go ahead and it's going to run this function called fl set uh, key pressed. I also have another one here that says if a key is up, which means if the key is released, it's going to run this function called unset key. Okay. Now, if you look at these functions, all it does is so if I press a key down, so it's gonna it's gonna run this function. In this function, it says okay switch i want you to check the key code that's being pressed if the key being pressed is the up key make that variable true that up press button if it's the down key make it false if it's left make it true or, i'm sorry if it's down make it true if it's left make it true uh, and if it's right make the right true okay make each one of these subsequently true now we have the same one for um letting go of the key so if if you let go of the key it's gonna say oh did you let go of up then turn it back to false. And if you let go of down, then turn it back to false. So basically, it's just a switch that's gonna turn it on and off. And then this function is constantly testing every loop if a button is being pressed, if this variable is being true or false. So if up is pressed, then it's gonna take the player Y and it's gonna move it up. And if it's down is pressed, it's gonna move it um, down. Now you might be confused because it says minus equals that means player Y is equal to um, player Y minus five. Now you might be like, well, why is it not plus? Because I want to go up. 
because if you actually look, 0, 0 is here. I can actually grab the character here. So you see the XY position? Watch when I go up to the top left. See how it becomes really low numbers? I'm not quite on 0 here, but eh. See what I'm saying? Um, as I go down, it's going to go. It's going to increase on the Y, and as I go to the right, it'll increase on the X, because it's being drawn from the top left and downwards, because that's how images are drawn. So that's why um, it looks like that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> ah, crap. Got that. Yeah. Flip back on this. Okay. So basically, if it's being pressed, it's going to move it, and the uh, it's going to take its Y position and add. Uh, or subtract five and so that'll move it upwards uh, it'll do the opposite if it's down so on and so forth um, so let's go ahead and just hit uh, control enter and now if you use your arrow keys you should notice you got to click in the window otherwise it doesn't execute your dude will move up down left and right right so it's already kind of working that's fun that's a you know it's not a lot of awful lot of work yay okay Fantabulous. Now, um, that's uh, somewhat working. But what you're going to notice is I'm moving this character, right? Let me click it back on. It's moving the character, but when I get over to the right here, for one, I don't have collisions. We'll fix that later. Um, it just goes off screen. So I need to have the camera move with it, right? You, I think you could do that, but that's not actually how we're going to do it. What we're going to do is do the opposite. We're going to move the background, not the character. The character will always stay still. And it will look like the character is walking because we'll have this going by. So we're actually going to move the background, not the character itself. So I'm going to click back on this action script, go to my actions, and I'm going to switch a couple of these things. For one, I'm going to have, instead of saying on the player specifically, I'm just going to change this to stage. It doesn't really matter. Um, that way it's just everything's on the stage. And I can use this game loop for everything. But... What I need to do is I need to change a couple of things here. So right now it says player dot y, which you remember that's what that one's called. This one is background. So I gotta do background background dot y and background dot y and background dot x and background dot x. Okay, now if you go ahead and play it, you'll see, make sure you click in there, it'll look like it's moving. But you're going to see it's moving opposite because it's moving this object up and down. So I actually got to reverse it to give the appearance that this is the thing, in fact, moving. So instead of um, minus plus y or minus equals y, make this plus equals y. And this one minus equals. This one plus equals. And this one minus equals. I'm going to do another thing, too. I have this set for the keyboard up, down, left, and right. Um, I would rather use the um, A, S, and D, e, you know, the, the WASD, W-A-S-D, because um, I want to use the space bar eventually for jump instead of using, like, the arrow keys. I feel like that's a little weird to me. I don't know. I mean, it's how things sort of work, but in this case, I'm going to kind of switch around. So that's really easy to do. All I'm going to do is just copy these. Um, so I'm just going to copy this keyboard left one. So I'm going to highlight over it, control C, go after this one, control V, okay? And we're going to test instead of for keyboard left, I'm going to say keyboard A. And then I'm just going to copy this one, control C and control V. So if you want to change these to different letters, you could totally do that. And this one's going to be W uh, D. So I have A and D for left and right. That's the idea. Okay. Now if I do it this way, I also have to do it down here as well. So um, it's going to do the same thing again. I'm going to grab this one, Control C or Command C, con Control or Command V. Oops, went too far. And again, I'm going to test for the A. And same thing with this one. I'm going to copy the right one here, Control C or Command C, Control V. Okay, and we're also going to test for. Um, W and that should be fine. I'm just going to control enter, make sure that's all working and good. Now it's, it looks like I screwed up my A somehow. All right. A couple of this isn't working quite right. So, um, the rest of it's working, um, but my QWESD is not working. So, um, let's see. So case keyboard dot a 
Keyboard A, left press true. Left press false. Hmm. Why are you not working? So. Weird. Alright. Uh, keyboard dot A. I might need to um, remove the other ones. I think they might be conflicting with each other. Let me test one other thing, see if the A works. Oh no, A works. It's just du the W that's not working. So I did something wrong there. Um, keyboard dot. D oh, W. Why did I write W? I meant D. Whoops. Well, that's why it wasn't working. You probably already knew that anyway. There we go. Okay. Alright, good. So my um, A and W work. I just wanted that to work for my thing. Okay. Um, so we more or less got the uh, thing moving there. Um, yada, yada, yada. I would say that that's good for this video because we're right around 15 minutes. Uh, just go on to the next one and I'm going to carry on and, you know, add other stuff.